Welcome to Microsoft Access Beginner Level 1, a beginner's guide to getting started with Microsoft Access database design, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. This class is for the beginner who has little or no experience building Microsoft Access databases. This is the introductory course in my Microsoft Access series and is designed to teach you the absolute basics of how to build a database. If you've never used Access before, then you're in the right place. Start with this course. However, even if you've been working with Access for a little while, you will still benefit from taking this course. Even expert or advanced users have emailed me and told me they picked up a few tips or tricks from watching my beginner lessons. Consider this a solid foundation for your Microsoft Access education. The goal for today is to get you up and running building your first Microsoft Access database. We'll begin by learning some terminology, the benefits of using a database, and we'll cover the various components of Microsoft Access. You will learn how to properly plan out your database and determine the different tables, queries, forms, and reports that you'll need. We'll go over the Microsoft Access design interface, see how to create new database files, and I'll show you some of the settings that I like to change for my databases. You will learn how to build your very first table to track customers. You'll learn about the different types of data that you can store in a table. And you'll learn about primary keys. You will learn how to enter data into your table, edit that data, and how to work with records. You'll learn about data sorting and filtering. We'll see how to use different queries to display information from the tables in different ways. You'll construct a form to provide a nice user-friendly interface for working with data on the screen. You'll learn how to generate a couple of different printable reports, including a customer list. And you'll see how to print mailing labels for all of your active customers only. This class is recorded with Microsoft Access as part of a Microsoft 365 subscription. It is roughly equivalent to Access 2019. However, the lessons in this class are also valid for Access 2016 as well. This is the fourth edition of my Microsoft Access course. If you are using an older version of Access, I've got versions available for 2013, 2010, which also covers 2007, and the older 2003. Feel free to contact me for a free copy if you need one of these older versions. Now, this is an introductory course for Microsoft Access so you don't need any prior knowledge of Access or even databases in general to benefit from this course. However, you should definitely be familiar with Microsoft Windows Basics. You should know how to use the keyboard and mouse, start programs, minimize and maximize windows, use scroll bars, and so on. If not, please go to my website and take my free Windows Beginner Level 1 course before continuing. It would also be beneficial if you know a little Microsoft Excel. While this is not required, I've often found that people who know how to work with spreadsheets have an easier time learning how to build databases with Microsoft Access. If you don't know Excel and you're interested in learning about it, I recommend, again, go to my website and find my free Excel Beginner 1 course. You will benefit more if you know how to use Excel before learning Access. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My Beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They're designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and to cover just what you need to get up and running. The Expert courses are designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access and have finished the Beginner courses. The Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes, and we cover more functions, features, tips, tricks, and techniques for power users. Once you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced series. You'll learn how to work with events, macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for applications. This will allow you to create true professional quality databases and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Access. Each group 
is divided into different numbered levels, starting with level 1, which is the class you're watching now, beginner level 1. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons you learned in previous classes. I strongly recommend you don't skip around. Watch the classes in order. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the Expert Series, then Advanced, and then finally Developer. Beginner Level 1 is around 4 hours long to give you a good, well-rounded introduction to Access. Levels 2 and beyond are usually between an hour and 90 minutes long each. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building a calendar and scheduling database, securing your database for multiple users, working with Access and SQL Server online, working with images, work orders, the SQL language, accounts payable, loan amortization, and lots more. For a complete listing of all of my seminars and templates, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have any questions regarding the material covered in today's class, just scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on and post your questions there. Also, make sure to take a minute to read through any other questions that have been posted, as your question may have already been answered. Make sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified by email if any other questions or comments are posted for this class. Also, make sure to visit my Access Forum where you can post questions and join in conversations with me and my other Access students. Also, be sure to visit my Tech Help page. This is my kind of, sort of, almost daily video podcast about Microsoft Access where I answer questions sent in to me by my students. Now, to get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples actually create the same database that I build in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning and start over or check the student forum to see if your issue is listed there. I know sometimes I have to read or see something two or three times myself before that little light bulb turns on over my head. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating when you're first learning it, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's really easy to use. Also, don't try to take on any other monster projects until you've completed the beginner series and at least the first two classes from the expert series. I get emails all the time from people who are halfway through the beginner classes and they've already made plans to completely redesign their company database. That's great. I love the enthusiasm. However, I recommend you wait. The beginner classes teach you all of the fundamentals of access and the first two classes in the expert series teach you relational database concepts, which is relating multiple tables together. You'll need to know that before building any serious real-world databases like customer contact managers, accounting systems, or things of that nature. So take my advice. I've been teaching Access for over 25 years. Just be patient. You'll get there. For now, if you have a hobby like collecting baseball cards, managing a sports team, tracking your vehicle maintenance, build a database for that. You'll learn more if it's for fun and not for work. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Now, I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website right below the list of video lessons. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. I know because one of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. It's a great sample database. So while I encourage you to try building the database along with me in the videos, feel free to look over the one that I've built as well. Also be sure to take a look at my blank database template. 
That's something that I built for people to use as a starter template for building their own databases. It comes complete with a video explaining how I built it. It's all part of my Tech Help series, which is absolutely free. Below the database files, you'll find the links section for other videos and resources. These are optional topics, so you can learn more about anything that I happen to mention in class. Since this is the fourth time I'm recording Access Beginner 1, I've already got tons of more advanced videos I can point you to if you want to learn about something more specific right now. Okay, now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in Access Beginner Level 1. In Lesson 1, we're going to learn what Microsoft Access is and what it's used for. You will learn some database terminology. We'll discuss the benefits of a database. And we'll learn about the parts of a Microsoft Access database, including tables, queries, forms, and reports. In Lesson 2, we'll discuss planning your database. What tables do you need? What fields should go in each table? What do you want your forms and reports to look like? In Lesson 3, we're going to get started creating a new blank database. We'll talk about the Access interface. I'll show you how to turn on overlapping windows, which I prefer over the tabbed document interface. And I'll show you what to do if you get that security warning there. In Lesson 4, we're going to begin building our customer table. We'll see how to create a new table. We'll learn about field names and naming conventions. We'll learn about the different data types that are available. And we'll start building the customer table. In Lesson 5, we are continuing designing the customer table. We're going to decide whether or not certain fields need to be text or number like phone number, for example. Are we going to store that as a text or as number? We'll see the difference between long integers and doubles. Why we want to use an ID field, an auto number field. How to move fields around inside the table. Saving your table, of course. Table naming conventions. And we'll talk about primary keys and indexing. In lesson six, we're going to learn about entering data into our tables. We'll see how to type new records in. We'll talk about resizing columns. We'll look at different date time values. I'll show you the zoom window and we'll discuss what dirty records mean. In lesson seven, we're continuing with entering data. We're going to enter some more records into our table. I'll show you how to download a sample database from my website so you don't have to type in all those records if you don't want to. We'll talk about the record selectors, how to turn off the delete confirmation warning saving layout changes, resizing our columns, and moving columns around. In Lesson 8, we're going to learn how to sort and filter our data. We'll learn how to sort a field. We'll learn about text, numeric, and date sorts, and the difference between numeric and alphanumeric sorts. We'll see how to remove a sort. We'll see how to filter our records, both filter by selection and filter with the checkboxes. We'll see how to show blank records, null values. And we'll see how to print, print preview, and send our table as an email. In Lesson 9, we're going to learn how to build customer queries. We'll see how to add tables to your query, add fields from the table to the query. We'll see how to run the query. Then we'll learn how to sort by multiple fields and add query criteria. In Lesson 10, we're going to build a customer form to present our user with a nice friendly interface for adding and editing records. We'll see how the quick form builder works. We'll learn about navigation, layout view, deleting records, and the different types of forms in Microsoft Access. In lesson 11, we're going to learn the right way to build a form using form design view. This is a preview of a lesson that I normally used to cover in level two. We'll learn about creating a blank new form, setting the record source, adding existing fields from the table to the form, resizing objects, your labels and your text boxes, and changing colors. In lesson 12, we're going to learn how to make a couple of different customer reports. We're going to build a simple customer report with one customer at a time. Then we'll make a customer list report where we can see all of our customers listed one per row. Then we'll make some mailing labels and we'll only send mailing labels to active customers. And we'll learn about different things like paper size, margins, printing, and so on. Now it's time to begin with Lesson 1, What is Microsoft Access? Go ahead and click on the link for Lesson 1 right now.